Okay, on the Draw tab, we've got some draw tools here. Let's take a look at these. If you want to draw a point, and you select that command, wherever you pick in the drawing, it places a point. So there it is. If you want that point to be at a specific location, at the status bar, instead of picking, you can just type it in. So if I was to put 0, 0, 0, it's going to place a point at that location. So that's the x, y, z coordinate. So I'm just going to hit Escape. To draw a line, you can just pick randomly anywhere in the drawing. Or if you've got snaps set, you can snap precisely to objects in your in your drawing. And if you had a point cloud loaded, you, you can also just snap directly to the point cloud points. Whenever you see this little drop down here, that means there's other options. So the polyline command, what that does is it creates a continuous line at the same elevation. So over here I drew lines and what you'll see when I select that line is only the individual entity, or in this case the, the single lines, will get highlighted. Whereas if I click on a polyline, you'll see the entire polyline is selected. You can do a spline, and how a spline works is these points that you pick, you'll see here it generates a spline, and then to end the command if you just right click or press enter, at the start of the spline you need to sort of define a direction for the start and a direction for the end, and you just click anywhere to kind of define it. So there you go, that's the spline. And you can edit it afterwards if you need to. And then you can create a 3D polyline. So a 3D polyline, what that'll do is if you snap to points that have elevations on them, it'll snap precisely to the elevations of the points and you'll end up with a 3D polyline. And then the last one here is draw a 3D curve. And what that lets you do is, if you've got points, you know, for example, going around a curve, and those points are at a different elevation, this command will automatically interpolate and create uh, a 3D polyline, but it'll be interpolated through the points going around the arc. So essentially it creates a 3D spline for you automatically. For arcs, you have a lot of different uh, options here for creating arcs. The most common one usually is a three-point arc, which is the default. So you just pick three points and the program will draw an arc for you. And if you want to play with some of the other options there, you can do so. Same thing with drawing circles. There's different options or ways you can draw a circle. The most common one is just to define a center and a radius. So you can visually choose the, uh, the radius for the circle. Or if you want it to be a specific distance, you can just type it in here. You can just type a distance such as 5 and press enter. And now that's drawn that circle with a 5 foot radius. Rectangle, you just define two corners like so. Or if you want to define a corner and then a specific rotation for that rectangle, you can do that too. And then, you know, you just choose how you want it. And then that uh, that ends the, uh, the drawing commands. If you want to put a hatch inside any of these objects, you just start the hatch command. There are some extra options in here, but the ones you just need to be concerned with is choosing a pattern. So I'm going to want it to be a solid fill. And then for the boundary, you need to define it. So the easiest way to do it is just to select the area and just pick inside the area that you want to place the solid fill. So there it gives you a preview if you hit enter and then press OK. It'll draw that solid fill for you. And you can do that inside of any of these objects. And 
when you do uh, when you do use the hatch command, if you don't have a close figure, you can then use the select uh, entities or use the select boundary set to define your uh, your area that you want the hatch to be drawn inside of.